guys, this is going to be my 7 and 8 week pregnancy vlog. I planned on making a separate 7 and 8 week, but I've just been really nauseous. I've already tried to record this video twice and it's just not going my way. I'm currently 8 weeks and 3 days. My current weight is 121 pounds. This week the baby is the size of a large raspberry, which is about 0.6 inches and about 0.04 ounces. This week the baby is looking more human and you'll notice that the baby's tail, tail is dissipating. Their lips, nose, eyelids, legs, and backs are continuing to take shape this week. Their heart rate can be heard beating as fast as 150 beats per minute. My first prenatal exam on April the 30th, so that's this Thursday, um, and I have that at 11 a.m. So I think the first prenatal is just going to be basically going over everything, um, touching base on like my medical history and all that kind of stuff, and probably sending me for my early dating ultrasound, I would assume, and probably some blood work. Fortunately, I guess I found out that the doctor that delivered Faith, she went to a new practice. The practice works is there's six doctors. There's two male doctors and two female doctors. And I have the chance of having any of these six doctors. This is they all take 24 hour shifts. So it just depends on which doctor is on the 24 hour shift for the deliveries. Symptoms this week, um, I'm still extremely exhausted. I feel like I could nap anywhere at any time. It's ridiculous. I am still having terrible morning sickness. Uh, it's particularly worse first thing in the morning, I guess. Um, that's generally when, if I'm gonna like get sick, I get sick, but for the rest of the day, it is complete nausea. So I do have all day morning sickness, but usually in the evening and stuff, it's just, um, it's just the nausea. So, you know, it, it, like, especially this week, it's been really bad in the morning, probably until like the afternoon, until I get like, like lunch and like a substantial amount of food into my stomach, I definitely don't feel good at all. Like your whole body from your toes all the way up gets really, really hot really fast. And I just have like, it's like a nauseous spell and I feel dizzy. And then in a few minutes that like, it like goes away, like it just cools down and then I'm good. But <clears throat> I deal with that all day long. Um, I've been having acid reflux and stuff, so that hasn't really been helping. And especially with being sensitive to smells and that sort of thing and having two kids and a dog um it definitely hasn't been helping my morning sickness by any means my ribs underneath like my ribs underneath and underneath my breasts it still feels really bruised um when i wear a bra and stuff like it really like pushes on it and they're like really tender underneath um i don't know if that's like normal for other people i've never experienced it before i've also like i said um I've been dizzy and I've been having a lot of headaches, so that really hasn't been helping much. Um, I think the headaches is lack of sleep just because, you know, I, I have, do have two kids and I have kids that are in school and my daughter's home all day with me and we do have a dog, so, you know, I'm not able to, like, just rest all day long. I definitely have, like, my things that I have to get done every day regardless of how I feel and what I'm, like, what I want to do, I guess. So, um, I definitely think, like, the headaches has just been, like, exhausting. The headaches have definitely just been exhaustion and not being able to get, get enough sleep. Definitely get like extremely bloated after I eat and first thing in the morning before I go to the bathroom, I'm like extremely bloated and I look really pregnant with my other kids until I was like around the 18 week mark, but it's definitely been like extremely uncomfortable sleeping this time around. I already can't sleep on my belly and it's like uncomfortable to sleep on my sides. I like have to have my leg up and stuff. It's just not cool because I didn't expect to have sleeping issues so early on. Cravings as far as week seven and eight went were um, fruit has definitely been my go-to snack like bananas, strawberries, apples, anything that's just easy and you can just grab out of the fridge. Um, really anything that's snack food has been like huge for me just because cooking and being like hot of cooking and smelling the foods and stuff makes me really nauseous. So it's nice to not have to um, prepare a big meal for lunch like I would prefer to make like sandwiches and fruit for the kids or something that is that only takes a few minutes to cook so fruit has been my go-to thing definitely been craving more baked goods this week like muffins and buns and um, homemade bread I've definitely been enjoying the baked goods though and me and Faith have been enjoying making baked goods and she's a really good helper when it comes to baking so that's been really nice and at least I've been able to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with her when she's at school doing some baking stuff. Soda crackers or Ritz crackers or crackers of any sort are like my favorite thing in the world when I'm nauseous. They definitely help me get over the initial nausea so that I can get something bigger into my stomach. Um, they've definitely been another go-to for me this week. 
dinner has still been my saving grace. Um, that's the one meal that I've been able to eat every single week and everything's been good. So that's definitely been where I've been getting most of my nutrition and that kind of stuff. Snacking 16 times a day, which is saving me help with the number. My aversions last week, or two weeks, the uh, week seven and eight, have been eggs and cannot eat them. And that really sucks because I really, really like eating eggs in the morning. But it's totally hit and miss thing and more times than not, it's a miss thing with me. I cannot eat them. Um, the other thing that is really been Watch out for my